Next up from Giancarlo of the Daily Wristwatch Check Facebook group, you really should join that, is an unboxing of his beloved Aquastar Deep Star reissue. Enjoy the video. Greetings, friends. Uh, just a quick video here. Uh, this is Giancarlo from the Daily Wristwatch Check Facebook group doing this uh, sort of unboxing, even though it's out of the box already, uh, slash on the wrist type video for my Facebook group, even though I did one already. Um, I wanted to do another one where it was a little more complete. That video was split into two. It was an unboxing and then on the wrist. Um, so I wanted to do one full video, a uh, short one of, of the watch itself um, with the actual box. <laughs> I'll do some shots of that later and the actual watch itself really quickly. Also, shout out to my friends at Scottish Watches, Rick and Ricky. Uh, they also asked me to kind of do something like this and, you know, I'll always do some, uh, you know, anything to do, uh, anything to make those guys happy. Uh, they're the wonderful guys over at Scottish Watches. If you don't listen to the podcast, check it out and also join their Facebook group. They have a great sense of humor. They're a lot of fun. They don't take themselves too seriously and... They, uh, yeah, they're just, they're just awesome guys and, and big watch guys. So check them out. So enough blabbing here. Oh, really quick. On the wrist, Omega Seamaster, the James Bondish version. I used to have the one previous to this. I'm sorry. I had the one that uh, preceded this one, the newer one. Uh, but I got rid of it because it had a huge helium escape valve that I just, you know, kind of reminded me of a Reese's Pieces Buttercup, a giant version of it. But this is the version that I really love, tied more to James Bond. To me, it's the right size, and I just love the Seamaster bracelet. Uh, so anyway, that's on the wrist. Back to the Aquastar. So this Aquastar is the Deep Star. The Deep Star is a reissue of a Deep Star from Aquastar from many, many years ago. Um, the brand was revived by Rick Murray, um, who many may know from Doxa and Aquadive, uh, also from Tropic Strap. Okay, Tropic Strap, and it came with a Tropic Strap. This, uh, this watch here, but I did take it off because I wanted to see what it looked like with a little bit of a contrast. And I put it on this really nice Horween leather strap that it came with, which is, I believe, what is pictured in the Hadinki article that Jason Heaton uh, published on this Deep Star. So yes, it is the Deep Star, as I mentioned earlier. Um, it's 40... 0.5 millimeters. It has a Le Pere um, Giro. Uh, you know, I think it's Le Pere Giro. Uh, I please don't quote me on that. I, I think I butchered the name. I'm not a French speaker. I'm an Italian and Spanish speaker. But anyway, it's got a quality chronograph movement. Uh, they could have went the easy way out, you know, and gone with maybe more of a ETA chrono movement, which would be very fine and and very well respected. But I think the fact that they went to a bit of a higher level uh, when it came to when it comes to the chronograph movement with the Le Pere Giro, um really is something that you know I tip my cap to Rick Murray on. It uh, it just shows you that they wanted to make it a little bit more special uh, because it is a very special special watch. And if you listen to Rick on the Grey NATO podcast recently, he actually says that. So it could be that in the future, uh, this watch, because I believe they will, I think these are limited, but there will be a run in the future with a different movement. So these will be limited. These will be the only ones with this particular movement. And it seems that the ones that will go into circulation will have an ETA or possibly a Salida chronograph movement, which again is very well respected. But, you know, he wanted to do something really special for the first version. And I'm really happy that he did because that's the version that I ended up getting, right? I jumped on this really quickly. So really, you know, just kind of doing a, you know, really, you know, hands-on here, uh, high level, not too in detail, <laughs> if that makes any sense, review. Because um, I'm not really a watch, uh, you know, reviewer, guys. I just enjoy talking about watches. I enjoy buying and flipping watches. And as my friends so affectionately call me, all well, my watch friends, uh, the watch slut. Uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, guys, please check out my Instagram, at Gentilojo. 
and you'll see what I'm talking about when it comes to being a little bit of a watch trollop or promiscuous watch collector where I kind of go through watches really quickly. Now, I'm going to say something and you're not going to believe me. Those that know me, I will not sell this. I will not trade this. This is special. It's a reissue of a watch that I've admired from afar for many years, knowing the brand through my uncle, who was a big deep, um, who was a big Aquastar fan, had a sea time. And I always, you know, really had more of an affinity to the Deep Star and the Bentos. So uh, when this was announced, I jumped on it. But hopefully the Bentos is next, which is another nice beefy looking um, diver, not a chronograph. Uh, and it's, uh, it's, it's a sweet, sweet looking watch. Anyway, I opted for the gray dial of the Aquastar. They came with, uh, they're coming out with, or they're coming out, they already did, a black version, a blue version, and this gray version. I preferred this one. I have so many black dial watches. Didn't really want to do the blue. Um, and I really just love the gray because I feel like it adds much more to that vintage look that this watch has. Um, so a lot of people commenting on the lugs. They're over 50 millimeters, I believe, 51. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, they are long, but that's the way the watch was meant to look. It was meant to be designed with the lugs like this. They're nice and curved. They really fit nicely on the wrist, as you'll see in a few minutes. And I just think this watch wears extremely well. It's a beautiful piece, um, and I really, really enjoy uh, wearing it. I've only had it since Monday, um, put in my deposit about a month ago, and then put in the final um, you know, closing amount last week and received it on Monday. So shout out to Rick, whoever he has working here on the distributor side, sending the watch out from the U.S. I believe it was sent out from a distributor here. Did a fantastic, fantastic job and getting that watch really quickly on my wrist. So speaking of my wrist, my hairy Italian American wrist, I am going to put the watch on my wrist as we speak. And if I can just do this here, you can see it on my wrist. So I'll stop talking for a second here so you guys can enjoy and see how nicely it wears. So I have about a little over a seven inch wrist and I feel that this watch wears extremely well. Like I said, 40.5 millimeters, uh, lug to lug. It's uh, about 51 and a half, I believe, millimeters. And then in between the, in between the lugs themselves, um, we're looking at about 22 millimeters. So, um, you could have fun with some pretty good options on straps. As I mentioned, it came with this really nice Tropic strap, which is the original Tropic. So really sweet looking. And then obviously this really nice Horween strap. It's got a nice little insignia there, the Aquastar insignia. So hopefully you guys are enjoying looking at this beautiful watch. Hopefully you'll check out Aquastar. Uh, I don't know how things are going. I think they're going really well in reference to selling these, gray, blue, and black. I'm not sure if any are sold out. I think I heard that maybe the black version or the gray version is sold out, so this particular one, but I'm not really sure. I haven't looked. I've been really busy this week with work, um, but I wanted to make this video because I think this is an awesome chronograph. A wonderful reissue. If you look up the past pictures of the actual Deep Star, it looks a hell of a lot like this. So he did a fantastic job. The chronograph itself, you know, works perfectly fine. I'm not going to do all that testing and all of that. You know, that's not something that I do. You'll see other videos on that. But, you know, the bezel action itself is really nice. I think it, you hear that? It, uh, it's got a nice, you know, a nice uh, ring to it. It feels solid, not a lot of play, uh, and it just wears really nice on the wrist. And it's an honestly, it's a strap monster. I really believe that. So I can get it back on the strap, uh, Tropic, which will look really nice. Looks great on this. I have a few straps coming in that will add to the, you know, the versatility of this watch. And I also bought a shark mesh from our good friend. Andreas from Divers Watches, so from local time, uh, that I'm excited to put on. And again, 
Um, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier. I don't think I did. Um, so Rick from Aquastar is going to be releasing a uh, bracelet for this. The bracelet will be a beads of rice bracelet and it will suit this watch amazingly. Uh, I actually, before I found out that he was going to actually make a beads of rice bracelet for this, uh, I started looking for them even before the watch arrived. Uh, but then I listened to the Grey NATO podcast the other day with Rick as a guest, and Rick mentioned and he confirmed that it's going to happen. Um, just they didn't want to do it when, well, they didn't have, I guess they didn't have the time. He didn't really explain why they didn't come out with the watch, but it doesn't matter. It's coming out in January, I think, and I think it'll look amazing on this watch. So I hope you're enjoying uh, this video. I hope you're enjoying looking at my beautiful Aquastar Deep Star. I really enjoy it. I really love it. Guys, it's been fun. It's been great. Thank you for watching. Um, as you can see, I'm very enthusiastic about this watch. Also did have a double shot of espresso uh, because today was a very long day here in the suburbs of Atlanta where I live now. I'm originally from New York City, but moved here with the family a few months ago. We were... Uh, we had a blackout, so we had power outage because of some really bad storms uh, for most of the day. So it was a tough day with the kids at home and no power. It was pretty warm out. So I uh, just did a double shot of espresso to get some work done and to do this video for you guys. And I'm hoping that you can see that I'm quite enthusiastic. One, because I love the watch and also because that espresso was really strong. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Shout out to Ricky, Rick. From, um, from Scottish Watches and everybody else or anybody else that's watching this review. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, have a great uh, evening, day, morning, wherever you are. Ciao. Cheers.